The focus of this video is Savage Short of Conan comic book covers plus the origin of Conan the Barbarian. All 235 covers are presented in chronological order from 1974 to 1995. The covers go by fairly quickly so that they can all be presented within a relatively short period of time. In 1982, there was a Conan the Barbarian movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, and there were more movies about Conan the Barbarian after this. In the near future, do you want a new TV show or a new movie created about Conan the Barbarian? If so, what actor or actors would you like to have play the role of Conan the Barbarian? Savage Sword of Conan was a black and white sword and sorcery magazine format comic book series published beginning in 1974 by Curtis Magazines, an imprint of American company Marvel Comics, and then later by Marvel itself. Savage Sword of Conan starred Robert E. Howard's most famous creation, Conan the Barbarian, and has the distinction of being the longest surviving title of the short-lived Curtis imprint. As a magazine, Savage Sword of Conan did not have to conform to the Comics Code Authority, making it a publication of choice for many illustrators. Roy Thomas was the editor and primary writer for the series' first few years, which featured art by illustrators such as Neil Adams, Dick Giordano, Barry Windsor Smith, John Buscema, Alfredo Alcala, Jim Starlin, Al Milgram, Pablo Macars, and Walter Simonson. Painted covers were provided by such artists as Earl Norm, Bob Larkin, and Joe Jusco. Conan the Barbarian is a sword and sorcery hero who originated in pulp magazines and has been adapted to books, comic books, movies, TV, and games. Conan was created by Robert E. Howard, who also created Almiric, Cull, and other characters. Robert E. Howard was an American writer who lived from 1906 to 1936. Howard is regarded as the father of the sword and sorcery subgenre. The earliest appearance of a Howard character named Conan was that of a black-haired barbarian with heroic attributes in the 1931 short story, People of the Dark. By 1932, Howard had officially conceptualized Conan and in his lifetime, wrote 21 stories starring the Barbarian, many for Weird Tales, Pulp Magazine. Over the years, many other writers have written works featuring Conan. Howard created Conan in a series of fantasy stories published in Weird Tales from 1932. Howard was searching for a new character to market to the burgeoning pulp outlets of the early 1930s. In October 1931, he submitted the short story, People of the Dark, to Clayton Publications' new magazine, Strange Tales of Mystery and Terror. People of the Dark is a story about the remembrance of past lives, and in its first-person narrative, the protagonist describes one of his previous incarnations. Conan is a black-haired barbarian hero who swears by a deity called Krom. Some Howard scholars believe this Conan to be a forerunner of the more famous character. Later, Howard rewrote a rejected story by This Axe I Rule, replacing his existing character Cull of Atlantis with his new character and retitling it The Phoenix on the Sword, which was first published in Weird Tales magazine in December 1932. Many Conan stories involve him in heroic adventures filled with princesses and wizards. The setting is in a mythical Hyborian age, set in the times after the fall of Atlantis and before any known ancient civilization. Conan has a penchant for saving damsels in distress, a humorous nature, and enduring loyalty. Conan's main abilities are strength, combativeness, intelligence, agility, and endurance. Conan is a Sumerian and was born on a battlefield and is the son of a village blacksmith. Conan matured quickly as a youth, and by age 15, he was already a respected warrior 
who had participated in the destruction of the Aquilonian fortress of Venerium. After its demise, Conan was struck by wanderlust and began the adventures chronicled by Howard, encountering skulking monsters, evil wizards, and beautiful princesses. Conan roamed throughout the Hyborian Age nations as a thief, outlaw, mercenary, and pirate. As Conan grew older, he began commanding vast units of warriors and escalating his ambitions. In his 40s, Conan seized the crown from the tyrannical king of Aquilonia, the most powerful kingdom of the Hyborian Age, having strangled the previous ruler on the steps of his own throne. Conan's adventures often result in him performing heroic feats, though his motivation for doing so is largely to protect his own survival or for personal gain. Starting in the 1960s, a series of Conan paperback books were published, eight of which had phenomenal artist Frank Frazetta covers that set the look of Conan from that point on. For information about the video, see the video description section. Please like and subscribe.